and so on and so forth, and now explain, and now explain an act of will by an act of sense appetite, as he says, hunger, let's say. Um, this is a different form, and so, um, and can't be, that's because it can't, and that's why, sorry, that's why it can't be queried in the same way, but it also gives a kind of end or finality to the sequence. Now, um, 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 in most of these cases, um, so I mean, we might, that if we were trying to set up a kind of general tabulation of the forms of explanation of action, we might begin with this kind of ends comes from my, uh, forcing the dancing, my little square of forms of explanation of action in terms of, and, and, and intention and wanting, in terms of action, intention and wanting, and then next to that, something that sort of stops the sequence, um, explanation by appetite, say, sense appetite. This is basically Thomas Aquinas, I believe, I'm really, um, 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 that's another column, but not another row. Um, um, I can get more and more involved. Now, um, um, and now, I mean, the, um, the one thing I want to say, sorry, let me just say this now, is that, this for, but if we revert to the, um, just a general, these, my, my original table, right? I mean, I, what I left out and didn't discuss uh, is that, of course, whenever I can explain one, what the agent is doing or intending or wanting to preach, you know, intensity would be A, she wants to be whatever, A, whatever. I explain that by, um, you know, she is doing B, she is intensity B, and so on and so forth. When I make these, ex- when I give these accounts and so on and so forth, I presuppose, of course, that the agent represents some connection I mean, um, 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 between doing A and doing B. I mean, this can be fairly various um, what kinds of thoughts the agent has about doing A um, um, that are involved and presupposed in. Um, uh, uh, for doing A in order to be B, or doing A because she wants to be. But there's always something, um, there's also a thought about the action that she's doing, um, and linking it somehow to B, as if you like, it's an instrumental thought about how these are means to that end, or something like this. So I think that kind of corrupts the case in some sense. I mean, so it's like, that sort of twists the material slightly to say that. Um, there's quite various forms this can take. But now, um, in the case, of, so there's always, I think, um, whenever we have the explanation of one volition by another, put that way, there's always a, um, a f- if you like, the instrumental cognition of thought, a belief that links them somehow that's present. Okay, we, we can also impute that um, to the agent. And indeed, in typical cases, we only use that to do the explanation. And why is she doing it? Well, because she thinks that that way, blah, 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 right? And I leave it implicit that she wants, blah, 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 um, so on and so forth. But I mean, there must always be this, this connection. Now, um, in the case of the explanation of action by hunger, though, I don't think there is any such consideration in the case. Right? I, mean, I, I don't need to link hunger and eating by the thought that, say, hunger to the eating would help with whatever, it's a falsification to represent eating as, you know, aiming at getting rid of hunger, for example. I mean, hunger is, um, that's just a very common philosophy. They say, we did it in order to get rid of the hunger, for example. I think, um, 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 this is not right, because hunger is, well, I don't bother going up with that, but I mean, um, um, hunger directly explains, without the mediation of a concept, I mean, without the mediation of a thought, I should say, a linking of contents, I mean, without the mediation of a judgment, um, hunger directly explains eating, um, and only eating, is the thing. I mean, not uh, uh, dancing, I mean, um, then, that explains um, the usual way why I'm going downstairs or something like that. But I mean, it explains, moreover, why I want to eat. Now, so there are another reason to make this distinction that philosophers sometimes confuse. Um, so the, the master category of desires, which is used by philosophers, right, covers up this uh, rather elementary distinction between wanting in the sense in which it's an act of the will, um, I want to do Z, in which case one can always ask, well, why do you want to do Z from, say, appetite, right, which is never asked, about which we never ask. So I mean, it's, it's just beginning with Nagel and the positive relatives, where the motivated desires and the uh, unmotivated desires. This is not, there's not two, there's not one thing that can either be motivated or unmotivated. The distinction cannot be more diverse, it cannot be greater um, between the two forms of desire. They have in common only a vague, only the fact that, you know, Aristotle's a rex is like, so that's exactly what that covers them. Um, one belongs to the will, and you can always ask, why the devil do you want to do B? And the other, hunger, for example, belongs elsewhere, and, 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 and with it we exit the will and exit the order of um, this order, of, and it is not connected to you know, wanting to eat, but it's other people. I mean, whenever, um, 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 I mean, um, I mean, what, I mean, 